In this video, I'm gonna show you a complete walkthrough tutorial of Amazon sponsored products. That's Amazon's PPC platform. It's, if you go to Advertising Campaign Manager, that's how you get there. But we're gonna go over five different campaigns that you need to be running, including some tips and tricks throughout the throughout this tutorial. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you a bunch of different secrets that I've found out. So the five different campaigns that you need to be running are the automatic campaign, I'll show you what that is in a second, it's very easy to set up, uh, doing a campaign against a competitor's product, doing a campaign against a specific product search term, doing a campaign against a generic product search term, and for related products. So the good thing about this video is I'm gonna show you how to do all those in detail. So the first thing you're gonna do when you're setting up your Amazon PPC is go to Advertising and Campaign Manager, and obviously I'm in my Amazon Seller Central to start. So this is the page that you'll get if you've never set it up. So the first one we're gonna do is the automatic campaign. So I'm gonna call it Performance Nut Butter Automatic. And I'll set the daily budget to $10. I think that's usually pretty good. And we'll select automatic ta uh, targeting here. So continue to the next step. I'll just call this Performance Nut Butter Pouches. And I'll select this product and you can, and I only have two products to select from. I'm going to select that one. And the default bid is $1.03. Uh, you can change this later, but I'm just going to keep it there. That seems to be fair enough for me. That's the suggested bid. So success. It was that easy to set up. Now I don't recommend just ending there, but if you wanted to, you could in there. And what this does is it automatically lets Amazon try to figure out, it'll read your product. And let me show you what my product looks like. It'll read your product, read the description, and try to figure out what search terms people are most likely to buy it for and show it to that. So it's a nut butter product. It's a macadamia coconut cashew blended nut butter. So it, Amazon can read that. Amazon can see the title and can see that, oh, people that are interested in this product might buy it by searching for macadamia nut butter or a coconut nut butter or keto snack. So it'll automatically do that. Now one little tip, let me show you, is you can add in negative keywords. So if we click here, click on negative keywords. And right now I'm not gonna add too many just because, uh, actually, you know what? I'll probably add the negative keyword almond because it doesn't have any almonds in it and peanut because it doesn't have any peanuts in it. Now, I might in the future change this and I might run specific ads where I do still show it to people that are searching for almond butter or peanut butter, but for now, I'm gonna add these as some negative keywords. So the next thing I will do in, is go in and I'll show you, so that's the first campaign. If you do that, you've already set up your first campaign. The next thing we're gonna look at is a competitor product. So if I go into here and I go into, just type in nut butter. I could search here and try to figure out which of these nut butters is the most similar to my product. And to be honest, these are all in jars, so they're a little bit different. The one that I think is the most similar is this one down here, Justin's nut butter. And what I can do is, so let's just take that Justin's create a, let's go to all sponsored products campaign. So I'd create a new campaign. So I'm back here. We're going to create a new campaign and let's call it Justin's Nut Butter. Set the same daily budget, but this time instead of doing automatic targeting, we're going to do manual targeting. Continue to the next step. We'll call this Justin's Nut Butter as well. And we'll select the same product, default bid. So let's see here. So it's got a bunch of suggested key terms and we're gonna use all these suggested key terms in separate ones, but since this one, let's see if it says anything. Now, uh, default bid, we'll put it 60 cents. I'm just making this up right now and provide your own keywords. So we're gonna try Justin's, Justin's Nut Butter, Justin's, Justin's Nut Butter. And I'll do broad match for all of these for now. 
add those keywords. And I might change that in the future. And you can see it has suggested bids here. I'm not going to match that one. That's too expensive. But all these other ones, let's go ahead and match it. And if we look again at this ad, let's see if there's anything else. Maple squeeze packs, maybe. Almond butter, almond butter maple might be one that we'd consider. Those are all different options. I'm just going to leave it as it is for now just to help expedite this tutorial. Then once again, I could go into here and I could add some negative keywords to this. I'm not gonna do that just yet because I wanna, I wanna think about that one a little bit more than just doing it. A, another option you could do, and now that I'm doing this, I'm thinking it might've been better to, instead of calling this Justin's Nut Butter, I could have just called this, let's see, renaming this. Could have just called this one campaign settings instead of Justin's nut butter. Let's call this campaign competitor competitor. My spelling is not my strong point. All right, let's call it competitor campaigns. And then what I could do is so just to explain this a little bit more in depth. This is a campaign and then within it is the ad group. So this is Justin's Nut Butter. I could create a new ad group against a different product. So let's say instead I wanted to do, let's go back to Nut Butter. There we go. Let's say I want to do nuts and more. So that spell, just to make sure I get the spelling right. Nuts and more. Because I think people that like nuts and more would also like my product. Now, I don't think they're directly competing because they don't sell in pouches, but I'm still going to include this in the competitor column here. Go ahead and select that. Default bid, let's just say 60 cents. And I would provide my own keywords. Oops. Nuts and more. Let's see what happens when I do that. And it has a suggested bit of 65 cents. I'm gonna go ahead and click apply, save and finish. So let's go back to all sponsored product campaigns. So now we have our automatic campaign and our competitor campaign. The next thing we're gonna do is a specific search term campaign. And if you look at my product, let's go over here, my product isn't really like anything that anyone's going to be searching for uh, because it's a macadamia coconut cashew blended nut butter. It's very different, interesting. But if someone searches for macadamia nut butter, they might be interested in this or coconut butter or cashew butter, but maybe not cashew because the reason they might be interested if they search for macadamia nut butter is because there's not a lot of macadamia nut butters out there. So they might be so shocked that they find one and happy and they'd buy this. Uh, but there is a lot of cashew nut butters out there. So for a specific search term, what's the most specific thing someone could search and find your product? For me, I think macadamia nut butter is a good example. So let's set the daily budget to $10. Let's do some manual targeting, continue to next step. I'm gonna call it macadamia nut butter, select. And just really quickly, if we look at the different coconut macadamia nuts, that might be uh, an interesting one. Let's just see how that does. Oops, let's put 0.6. Coconut, macadamia nut butter. Keto nut butter. Keto nut butter should actually be its own campaign because that's really a cool term. Same thing, paleo nut butter. Uh, vegan butter, maybe. Coconut butter, paleo should be its own. Just see what else they provide. Macadamia nuts, probably not. If someone's searching for macadamia nuts, they may or may not be interested in my product. Macadamia butter, for sure. Uh, paleo butter, maybe, but that could be its own campaign as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's apply some of these. And it's up to you whether or not you want to do that. You can keep your normal bid, but I'm just going to do it just to save some time. Success. So that's my specific uh, campaign because macadamia nut butter is something very specific someone would search. So an um, example of a more generic product search term would be something like keto snack. 
Now, if someone's looking for a keto snack, they're not looking for something very specific. They're just looking for something broad and they're not sure exactly what they want. So it may not work quite as well, but it's worth testing out because there's not a lot of keto snacks out there. And let's, let's do a quick, I always recommend doing a quick search, keto snack, see what comes up and see if your product would make sense for there. So better than coffee, energy bars, one stop paleo shop, keto snack box, fat snacks, variety packs, and stuff. So I think my product would fit perfectly in here. And in fact, in some ways it might be better than a lot of these, uh, but I'm also biased. So let's go ahead and select that default bid. I just put 60 cents and then we can go in and provide your own keywords. So keto snack. And what you can do is try to look up what all the different options, all the different things that you could possibly think of for keto snack. Uh, you might want to use a thesaurus. So let's do that really quick. Yeah, I can't spell. All right. The source is not an easy word to spell though. So that's, that's understandable. So let's go in here. Let's put snack. None of these are that good. Bite, break, eats, goodies, grub, luncheon, munch, nibble. I'm sure there's meal maybe, but I don't, I don't know if my product's really a meal. So uh, we might also want to do ketosis snack. Keto food, maybe. Ketosis food. I'm just going to add those for now. Keto snack is ranked pretty high. Ketosis snack is not nearly as much. That's I, That might be out of the range of what I want to pay, actually. So I'm just going to key. I'll, I'll go to the low end of that, 89 cents. Uh, I'll go to the low end of that one, 0.102. And another tip for you is using the Google Keyword Planner. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to go into AdWords. Oops. Yeah, there we go. Actually, the keyword. And Google has a lot of data. So I'm going to use this one. If you don't have an AdWords account, it's definitely worth setting up. Give it a second here. All right. So they changed this a little bit. We're going to go here. We're going to go into planning keyword planner. And then search for new key term. So I'll put in keto snack because that seems to be the first thing that came to my mind, the most popular. You could also, I could also put in all the other ones I said, like keto food, ketosis snack, ketosis food, just to see what comes up. Low carb might be a good option. No carb snacks. Keto, keto diet plan, ketogenic snacks. So there, there we go. That's one I could put in there. Ketogenic snacks, ketogenic food. Uh, I'm going to keep it 0.69. Actually, let's go 0.93. Let's see if there's anything else that comes up from this. Best low carb snacks, ketosis, ketogenic diet, low carb, sweet snacks, keto meal plan. So I could spend a lot of time looking through this and seeing if anything fits. But let's go ahead and finish this off so we can get to the next campaign, which is related products. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and finish. success. So that is our fourth type of campaign. This is the generic product search term. Next up is related products. So what do I mean by this? So obviously nut butter is very specific. It's, it's a product that if someone's looking for uh, nut butter, they're going to find it. But what are some products that someone would search for that would also like my product? I think ketones 
is one. If someone's interested in the ketogenic diet, they might also be interested in my product. So we're just, and, and it would stand out because none of this stuff, this is all just straight up ketones. But if someone's searching for ketones, they may also be interested in a ketogenic friendly snack. So let's go ahead and create campaign. I'm going to call this campaign. And there's different ways to do this. I mean, you could do, um, you could do this where this campaign name is related products. Or you could do each one as a separate campaign. For now, I'll just call it related products. And I'm going to call this $10 manual targeting. Continue to the next step. Add group one. Um, I'm going to call the ad group one ketone. So what I would do is each new ad group would be its own related product. So ketone, maybe paleo protein powder, maybe uh, all these different ideas that I could think of here. So let's go ahead and select that default bid. I'm going to say 0.6 as always. And then I would say ketone. Let's go ahead and keep it there. And I'm sure there's more that I could come up with. That's a dollar forty nine. That's a that's a big that might be a little out of my price range. So I'm gonna say 0.75. And that's it for that. So one other type of campaign that I should mention is all the different search terms. You should do a campaign for literally all the different search terms that Amazon can come up with, as long as you think it's actually a good match. So what do I mean by this? Let's just do, I'm just going to call this test for now just to get the, get the data here. Manual targeting, continue to next step. Just to see what it would look like. Cashew nut butter. I don't think cashew nuts. I don't think those, I don't think that one is interesting. I don't think that one's interesting. I already did that one. Coconut cashew butter. Maybe I think that'd be a good one to target. Let's just see select. Uh, default bid 0.6. Keto nut butter. I think keto nut butter would actually be a really good one. So keto nut butter, paleo nut butter, possibly vegan butter. I'm just getting an idea for future. So paleo nut butter is at $3. That's really expensive. I don't know why anyone's paying that much for it. Coconut butter, paleo. What about coconut? Wow, that's really expensive. So keto nut butter may be my winner here. Nut butter packs. Let's see about nut butter packs. And so the other good thing about doing this research is people are searching for nut butter packs. They're not necessarily searching for whatever I have in here. So I say I, I do have pack in there. Friendly nut butter, 10 packs. So maybe I change that instead of a 10 pack to 10 packs. I don't know. It's probably not that important. But it's 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 interesting to find out what are people searching for that I should include in my product description, that I should include in my title, all that kind of stuff. So another example is keto friendly. That's kind of an interesting one. And I might add that to my keto food one, macadamia nuts. Vegan cashews, oh, I think vegan keto, vegan keto. Let's see vegan keto, $2. That's pretty expensive. That might be out of my price range. 10 pack is not something I would bid on because that means nothing. Keto nuts, let's see about keto nuts. Keto nuts is interesting. I, I like keto nuts. So I'd probably add that to my other campaign. Anyways, we would just go through all of these and try to find as much different keywords, as much data as we can. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. Also, before you go, I do have, if you click, there's a little eye right here over by my face in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. I have an e-commerce success pack that includes a checklist for your Amazon PPC campaigns and a checklist for setting up your Amazon, basically everything you need to do to set up Amazon. So click that little eye in the top right-hand corner and you can get that free Amazon checklist and that free Amazon PPC checklist, plus a bunch of other awesome free stuff. Last but not least, if you have any questions about anything I talked about in this video or anything e-commerce related, leave it in the comments down below. I answer every single question, so I'd be happy, happy to help. So thank you so much for watching this and good luck on starting your Amazon PPC campaign.